decided to go on another adventure today. This time we wandered up Elk Mountain to explore in the snow. As you can see, there wasn't much snow in the valley, but as soon as we started to get up the mountain, things turned pretty white. The forest was pretty quiet, except for the occasional sound of water trickling down the mountain. There were quite a few of these smaller waterfalls, and some of them actually had a lot of water considering how frozen things were. In BC hiking, because then at least you can always have glacier water. We came across an uprooted tree on this trip as well. This one most likely fell before the ground was frozen, but it's hard to say because we did have some pretty big windstorms this winter. The view of the mountains was pretty spectacular. We also had a really good view down into the valley, but my favorite thing about this trip was probably the ghost face that I found on the side of this mountain. Pretty spooky. He looks like he's frightened. The best part of the view down into the valley was definitely just how many trees there were. They were all covered in either fog or snow, but I couldn't really tell which at certain points. There was actually quite a bit of fog in the valley, which I didn't notice as we drove through, interestingly enough. There was one particular line of it that kind of cuts through the center. If you look closely, you can actually see one of the roads we drove in on at the bottom of the valley. I thought that was pretty cool. We did see a lot of really cool stuff in the forest, from rocks to fallen trees and kind of everything in between. Overall, my favorite part was just that it was all covered in snow. This tree in particular was really interesting because half of its root structure is actually hanging off of a small cliff. I've never been sure exactly how plants manage to grow like this, but it seemed like a pretty common thing in this forest. You can see on this other ledge that there's entire trees just growing up sideways. Yeah, my tummy's grumbling. Oh. We could eat snow. We should have brought maple syrup to put on the snow. I like snow without maple syrup, too. So yeah. That is a good idea. You can see the side of my toque in this clip, which kind of makes it seem like you could be walking along with me. This is me hiding behind a ledge of snow because I heard some snowmobilers. Thank you once again for coming along and best of luck on your own adventures. Boo!